Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another Thrones of Britannia siege battle for you today and this one is an excellent 3v3 siege battle between Mayaborg, the West Sayax, Powys as the defenders and then we have Northumbria, we have Mercia and we have Jorvik as the attackers. I do take part in this uh, siege battle, I am playing as uh, Wessex at the moment. And uh, yeah, this is an excellent 3v3 siege, comes right down to the last few units. Again, it's definitely worth sticking around to see how this one uh, shapes, basically, and see who comes out on top. So it looks like we're going to have a bombardment. I looks like from uh, Danelord Chosen uh, Archers first, we're going to have some Tolulu Spear Guard forming shield wall to defend this uh, gateway in their shield wall formation. As they're under fire as well from, uh, well, from artillery, I think we've got some artillery out here. We also have, what have we got going around here then? I saw some units. We've got berserkers all the way back here for some reason. Just burning down little bits of our village. I'm um, trying to get that little uh, settlement damage up already. And then burning down more of the village over here. Just little tactics like this. Trying to, uh, trying to get the upper hand on us. And then what, where are the walls breached already? The walls breached already over here. Jorvik is already on the assault really. And these male spearmen here taking a bit of a beating from artillery, but they should reform and uh, we'll be okay there. But I hope you guys are enjoying all the uh, Thrones of Britannia content at the moment. I'm really enjoying uh, bringing this out. This obviously is again with the Radius mod, I should have said. Um, so that's why you can play like Meyerborg and Jorvik and Powys. So uh, definitely go and check out that mod. It's a really, really good mod. Add some units as well to the game. So uh, freshens up the mod, uh, freshens up the game that's kind of, you know, lacking in that vanilla stage a little bit. But here we go, so the first clash of infantry, it's going to be these uh, mailed spears. And what have we got here? We've got some Yom's Vikings, an elite sword unit in straight away. As more of these uh, mailed spears just get battered down by artillery. But these guys in shield wall, they should hold these Yom's Vikings back for a while. Uh, I mean, the tower has been destroyed here. The other one can still fire. I mean, we've still got archers as well elsewhere. Should be okay. We've got lots of elite hearses and Yom's Vikings going in. We've got lots of uh, lots of troops here in reserve as like the artillery itself does a lot of damage these male tuskals. More male tuskals hit. Jeez, and that was a good hit there on the uh, artillery as well. Taking one of them out, that's going to be very key. Don't want this artillery to get too close and do a lot of damage at close range. Another one taken out. And there we go, that's massively going to help the uh, war effort against, uh, the, well against Jorvik, put it like that. How many of them are left? I can't actually tell, I think two. But yeah, balance power is ever so slightly not in favour of the uh, defenders. Even though the defenders have more troops, about 300 extra troops, the eliteness of these troops, is uh, of the attackers, is uh, overwhelming. And, uh, well, yeah, it's kind of key straight away. I mean, male spearmen here losing decisively. Yom's Vikings and Elite Hurst here already just, like, blitzing through as, like, Elite Axemen are having to go in for uh, Wessex. And we've all got archers already firing in here. Um, on this side, it looks like Mercy has just landed. What have we got coming up first? We've got some noble swords coming up first. And they're going to face a variety of uh, Meyerborg's troops here. He's got Meyerborg's got lots of... Uh, got a long line to hold here. And there you go. More troops landing. Northumbria is being a little bit more slow. He's being a bit more... He's using every bit of his ammo up. He's burning every village, it would seem. Um, whether that will actually come to bite him in the... Uh, well, in the arse later on, who knows? Because, well, if he doesn't attack now, I mean, he's moving his siege towers forward now, but he's attacked a bit later. So these are uh, certainly Mercia and uh, Jorvik could be attacked and take, well, are being attacked and could be taken out before Northumbria has actually sent his full force in. He's got cavalry here hiding in the woods, waiting in case there's a sally. Um, looking at most of the Rosses, I think Meyerborg brought one unit of cavalry. And the general for Powers' is cavalry. But apart from that, not really any units that are going to sally out. Probably. God, this is a glorious front line though here. And here we go. Mercy is fully engaged now with Meyerborg. Some elite units here. Um, noble Swords. I don't actually know what this unit is. Eastman Royal Guards. Oh, very elite. I've uh, seen them in previous battles. On the uh, channel, and they are nasty. They will take take names with them. 
But if you've been enjoying all the uh, content at the moment, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and leave a comment. Um, if you want to see more Thrones action, then, well, make sure you do all three of those. And let me know um, in the comments, because I'd really like to do more of this. Um, of these sort of battles, mix up the content a bit. But, you know, I need to know what you guys want to see. So do let me know in the comments. Yeah, so I mean, it looks like these Noble Souls are actually losing, which I'm not surprised. These Eastman Royal Guards are nasty. Um, they are, like, getting off the walls. I mean, they got flanked here as well, which is not good. But yeah, they are uh, having a rough time here. These uh, initial first few waves. What we've got here, Elite Axeman also getting beaten up. Mercy is not having a good time here. I'd say Mercy is a bit more of a defensive-minded uh, faction, a bit like Wessex. Um, Wessex probably could do okay on the Assault as well. It's got plenty of swords and axes, but... Maybe better on the defense. But you can see here, look at this. It's just the artillery now is firing into this blob. Um, and this is just what it's become. A massive choke point. Jorvik is going to go and send everything through two areas. He's got the gate over here and that uh, blob there, basically. And he's got some male Tuskals and I've got some Earl's Thanes. Or Earl's Veteran Thanes, I think it is. Um, so, I mean, these guys are actually losing. Um, kind of no surprise. They are fighting Axemen. But, Wessex shall stand. It will not give up. I mean, we say that as units are breaking. But, I mean, that's happening because of the fire projectiles. Really good play there by Jorvik, who is firing... Uh, Fire uh, arrows to so basically bring down the morale. You can see here it's bringing it down by five. Uh, and I don't think the settlement damage is doing any ma uh, morale damage just yet. But we are now firing our own arrows onto the mailed archers here to make sure that they uh, basically die. We do not want them to uh, survive. So I've got my own select feared archers here focusing these guys down. Um, the general is coming forward. Maybe worth a, ta a, a shot there, but he's falling back ever so slightly. Maybe worth taking out at some point. Mercy is starting to break over here. Uh, Mayaborg has beaten back uh, a, fir a bit of the first wave. I mean, most of the first wave is kind of already gone. What have we got coming up now? Royal Guards coming up. Already the elite stuff into the battle. Uh, what have we got here? Royal Spearmen. Royal Archers. He spent a lot of money on his archers. He's got to get a lot of kills with them. And, I mean, Mercy's nearly already spent out of uh, reserves. I mean, Mayaborg's looking okay. He's still got quite a few uh, troops in reserve. He might need to send more troops over there. Here, yes. He's, well, he's directing some of oh, Eastman veterans. Yeah, and here you go. It looks like uh, Royal Huskars. These guys have found a gap in the line. And they can get in behind. That would be really good for them. But, yeah, my ball being a Viking unit, I'm surprised they aren't, like... If these two roles are reversed, they'd certainly be working, like, their best abilities. I mean, the Vikings aren't going to be bad on defense. Um, but certainly... The Saxon units of uh, Mercy would be better on the defense. And Northumbria is slowly, slowly marching forward. He's yet to actually engage. This could be huge. I mean, M Mercy's in a real sticky position here. Look, more units wavering already. We've got Elite Axeman breaking. Um... Mybog's lost a few units. He's got some Eastman veteran hunters back here that are like getting focused on. Wessex is containing uh, Jorvik for now. He's got plenty of reserves. Yeah, five or six units of reserve. And he's got plenty of archers that he can be thrown in as well. And they've still got ammo. You can see here, look at all the mailed archers that have died. The most of them are dead now. There's some over here hiding. But they are holding. So, I mean, North really need to get a move on. Powers is not a, a weak faction. They've got some pretty solid units. These Tululu Spear Guard are pretty good. Um, wherever they are, the Tululu Sword Guard are pretty good. Or Guard. Yeah, Sword Guard. They're pretty good. So, I mean... And the Wall actually Elite Swordsmen aren't bad either. So, I mean, they've got a lot to get through with uh, Northumbria. Hopefully, his bombardment with arrows and um, with artillery will be enough. But who knows... Um, I mean, balance power, 
numbers was a thousand difference now between attackers and defenders. Um, but balance power is not really shifted. Northumbria, I guess, is the powerhouse at the moment. Royal Huskals. Jeez, that is a big Royal Huskal unit. 240. That is a lot. Now, the general's going off somewhere. I mean, it looks like... Oh, Powers does have a cavalry regiment. A couple of cavalry uh, units. He's got two Welsh veteran cavalry units ready to uh, sally out. Where he's going to go with them, who knows. Might go for Berserker. I mean, you could go for the general. General's pretty on his own. But, I mean, he's a Royal Huskal, so he will chop down a lot of those cavalry. And there you go, Northumbria has landed. Into this gap here, which Powers is just not defending. He just allowed these towers to get up here. Um, a bit of a silly play by uh, Powers there, possibly. Should have, because now Meyerborg's flank is open. So these Berserkers look like they're just going to go in, and they're going to undo all the good work that Meyerborg's done. Meyerborg needs to send it forward this Eastman Huskal to basically deal with these Berserkers. They're not all, like, up yet, so they could quite easily do it. As, like, parts of the settlement are burning down. So good that this is a thing, like, the uh, Vikings, they just walk in, a couple of guys just break off and they go and burn down the stuff. I don't know where they're getting all these endless torches from, but they are. So, I mean, I could go for the artillery piece, in fairness. Uh, certainly send the cavalry and probably try and break them up. Powers is now sending over a uh, longbowman to deal with them. That's not really what you want to be doing. You need to be sending over an infantry unit before this unit, like, consolidates. Yes, yeah, so here you go. Northumbria is now engaged. He's now in here. What's he got inside? He's got... Well, it's not going to tell me. Uh... Uh, Jarl's chosen swords against these uh, Tululu spear guard. I'm going to say the swords will win over time. The spear guard, yeah, just aren't going to match. Just not a match. They're just supposed to hold a choke point, and they'll do that, but they won't win this fight. Might need to send some swords in it, and then more buildings burning. Northumbria just can't get enough burning buildings. He just loves it too much. I mean, I don't know why you're cheering, uh, Spear Guards. You're definitely not winning this fight. Oh, these are we've got Welsh elite swordsmen in there now. That'll certainly hold the line. They need to be careful because uh, they could certainly break through here. Like this is not a this is not a feasible choke point. Welsh elite swords. Are they going to charge in? Well, what we've got the charging in here. We've got to lose Spear Guard. Okay. Could certainly flank around this spot here. Um, I mean, gotta be careful. I mean, if I was the longbows now, I'd be focusing down every single. Huskal unit there is. These guys have not got good protection to, uh, to archers. So that's what you're going to be taking out. And the general. The general's another unit exactly like that. Take out the Huskals and you're fine. Jeez! The Selman's on fire. And there you go. Look at this. Berserkers well in behind. Uh, 73 and losing currently. Another one coming up though. But really they should have just contained it here. They could have just contained them here with a unit from Meyerborg. Powis could have sent more stuff around earlier before they consolidated. Back on this side, uh, Wessex is holding okay. This is probably one of the sides that's looking the most um, stable at the moment, you could say. There's a lot of units here wa wavering. Got, uh, well, there you go, Viking horsemen breaking. Viking chosen warriors about to break. I mean, it's just the hail of arrows that are coming in. Literally, all of these arch units here are just lined up. There's one, two, three units lined up ready. And their view is just... I mean, they can't really see clearly. They're just firing into a uh, mess of... Well, iron back there and steel. Um, and they're just hoping to hit stuff. I mean, look at the bodies down here. Look at the bodies. That is nasty. I mean, they've slowly pushed. This is where the Saxons started. They have pushed the Saxons back. Or Wessex back. But it also looks like the Wessex is starting to make some sort of an offensive itself. He's got plenty of reserves now already. Got the spears over here now engaged. Another unit breaking here. Got select feared archers breaking. They must have run out of ammo and gone into combat. That's fine. Got a big blob of stuff up here that doesn't necessarily need to be all like here. Could spread it out along the line a bit better. The general might need to start popping stuff. Now we've got fire arrows coming in. Ah, fire arrows coming in because the catapult is getting really close. They burnt one already. Just before it came in. Well, this one this one has also set a light. That is huge for Wessex. Just before it could get a volley off. If it could have shot into there, that would have been devastating for uh, Jorvik and for Wessex. 
Devastating in, in the good way for Jorvik. Not so good for Wessex. But there it goes. It's gone. So now there's just a crew left. So well done to the archers there. They did a very good job in taking them out. I was so pleased when they took that out. I was relieved. And then we, here we go. Royal Bodyguard. The general already for Mercy is in here. Mercy's had a really rough time. My Borg has uh, certainly been giving them uh, him a hard time. But I mean, this is good for the defenders. My Borg needs to now go and help against... Northumbria, who is causing a lot of issues for Powys right now. He needs to defeat, defeat Mercia as quickly as possible. But Mercia just needs to hang in, or hang in as long as possible. Just deny um, Meyerborg sending troops over. And Northumbria is now sending his own troops over. He's now got Danelaw Huskars over here. We're now involved in the combat. And they're winning decisively. I mean, they're fighting a cavalry recruit, so there's no surprise. But yeah, now you've got Wessex sending troops over. Male Danes already coming over. And Eastman... Uh, what we've got here, Earl's Veteran Thanes already coming over. These guys now engaging. It looks like this unit of Berserkers, oh no, we've got uh, Jarl's chosen here. They are losing. They must have defeated the Berserkers, but I mean, it looks like Power's having a lot of issues over here with these flanking forces. But these Jarl's Chosen Swords are a very elite unit. And then over on this side, it does look like... It does look like um, Northumbria is doing quite a good job. There you go, as these Tululu spear guard just break. And now this leaves this whole area vulnerable. And the general's having to be sent in. The Welsh king has been sent in to rout the northern threat. Will he do it? Probably not. He's just a mere cavalryman. But now, I mean, in fairness, this unit here can, like, the Welsh unit can go back if it needs to. Let's go and help because these Yarl shows are now being engaged by the male Danes and they will probably break. We've got what we've got here. We've got some uh, select fjord archers coming over. I don't think they have any ammo. Um, that is probably why they've been sent over. We've got some Earl's veteran Danes here and they are losing to these Huskars. They are so nasty. They're already up to triple silver chevron. They have done work. Put it like that. They have done some work. But Wessex feels like it able to send troops over to deal with uh, the Northumbrian threat. Myborg needs to really... That, I think enemy general dead. I think that is Mercius is dead. Yep, yeah, Mercia is very low on troops now. Myborg really needs to start mobilizing these troops as well to get them over there. Royal Arch is coming over. I presume they're going to come and help support the attack on uh, Powys. We've now got some cavalry here as well. An artillery crew getting mounted up. I think this artillery crew is now going to get onto this artillery so I have ammo to use. And then what have we got here? Oh, Power sent out his cavalry. I think he... I don't know what he was going for. Exactly. Um, but yeah, he sent his cavalry out. And he's just got swamped by the Isles Elite Horsemen. No surprise there. Um, I was thinking this is another unit of their cavalry. But it's not. They've just got this noble cavalry here ready. Uh, Powers is nearly out of the game. It's going to come down to Wessex and Meyerborg. Meyerborg is looking pretty beat up though. He's got some pretty fresh units. I mean, this unit's okay. 74... 97. Um, his general is on 96. He's going to need to get all of these units over here, but he's certainly lost a lot. Wessex is now looking pretty beaten up as well. Got a tiny unit of Fjord archers out here. I didn't even realize. Um, but yeah, Jorvik is now looking like he's in the ascendancy. These two units I sent over to help against Northumbria over there, and I sent my general, might be needed back here. All of a sudden, it's turned around, and I mean, we're clearing up over here just fine at the gate, but this flank is looking really, really weak. And what turned out to be what looked like it was going to be an easy battle for Wessex has turned into a bit of a tense one, could go either way. There's a thin, thin line holding this Wessex uh, flank. I mean, this is pretty thick over here. This, these guys need to just break through. What are they fighting? Elite Hearse here. 13 of them holding them back. Oh, no. They, they, yeah. Okay, there's some Berserkers as well. But there's very little here. They need to take out the General soon. Um, and I think the General now, yeah, for Wessex, is now racing back. 160 Royal Companions racing back to try and do, do some good. These Danelaw Huskars now breaking here. This flank by the Field Archers is going to be enough. But... They've killed off so many of these Thanes. There's only 20 of them left. They're going to take every single one of them down with them. Um, and there's by far and away not enough to hold back Northumbria, I don't think. 
Northumbria is looking very strong. His general units, like over 200 men left. Um, but yeah, look at the numbers. They are so close now. The attackers have done a really good job in basically getting back that 1,000 di man difference that they had. Like, they were down 1,000 men. That is shocking. I mean, in fairness, a lot of their th men are actually still cavalry, which can't really get used inside a, a city pretty effectively. But a new line is being formed over here by Mayaborg. This is where it will hold. And they will prepare for the Northumbrian advance. I mean, they've got every arrow needs to be spent. Every arrow needs to be spent, boys. Allied general has fallen. That might be Powers' as general. Yep, that would be the case. He's got one unit left of uh, Tolulu's sword guard. Yeah, these hunters really need to use every last arrow. Just get a, get a couple kills. Hopefully pray that they can hit this goddamn Royal Huskar general. There you go. The general is now in here. Royal Companions, he's now holding the line basically here. And hoping that these guys can break. I mean, what is it left? Berserkers. 22 of them left. Come on. Elite Axemen, you can win this fight. What we've got here, Royal Guards, 19 of them. It's not looking good. The Royal Companions are now losing. I think just because they're about to get flanked by the other general, who's so low as well. 31 men. Someone take him out. Wessex is looking really rough. Res Wessex really needs to win this quickly to get his troops over here. Of men just getting cut down currently. Oh, I don't even know what this is. There's a berserk unit of 43 men. It's so nuts that like, a unit of 43 can just destroy men in the hundreds. Your royal companions, men. You should, shouldn't be scared of these 40-odd men. We've got some elite axemen here now. They need to get into combat. They probably need to go and take out the general who's just busy doing his own thing here. As more of the city burns down, it's now 22% damage. Um, but as you can see, there's going to be no fallback to back up here. And defending up here. Going to be defending and dying at this gate. And here you go. Mayaborg is now engaged. And this whole line that we made has just kind of disappeared. The Royal Huskarls are now engaging. There's down to 103. So well done to the uh, archers there in that, that case. But they're now about to get engaged, these archers. Uh, poor men. And the horseman goes in. And they actually, the cavalry, uh, the uh, infantry was caught. But the cavalry did get in there. And that's going to be enough to just kill these archers. That is sadly, uh, sadly enough. And in storms, well, what remains of the cavalry? And somehow, this unit is over here. Why is the Tolulu Spear Guard just chilling here? I have no idea. Just realized that. That's just, like, busy doing its own thing there. Very weird. And then, uh, well, it's now just basically down to Wessex. The Myborg and uh, Powers have been overwhelmed, basically, by Northumbria. And it's literally going to come down to the last few units. Royal, the general has fallen. Oh no, that is not good. General has fallen. Have they lost their general though? No, they have still got their general. And the elite axeman unit is going outside the walls. Why? Who knows? But it does look like it's going to come down to very little. Royal Huskars here losing. The cavalry, this is not good. They should be chopping these cavalry down. Oh, what has happened there? But yeah, I don't know. I don't remember this happening. Uh, this definitely didn't happen um, in the actual battle because I remember that my general did survive. So I think the uh, uh, the replay is ever so slightly corrupted. It's probably why that unit of Powers is just like chilling out there, uh, like in its own front. So I mean, that's a bit of a shame. But it did in the, for in our version, it came down to this Eastman Axman unit and the general were just holding in this area, and they did defeat Jorvik. Um, I mean, they may still defeat you, but uh, these elite axemen are pretty much stronger than most of the other units here. These berserkers and this uh, Royal Huskarl. So yeah, that's a bit of a shame. Um, 
Over here, it does look like Northumbria is going to win that fight. Uh, I don't know what's really happened, so I'm just kind of fast forward for the benefit of the uh, vid because it looks like the units have kind of bugged out a bit. It's a bit of a shame. Um, yeah. Can't really do much about that. So, Lutz are just going to capture this, this gate. Uh, I don't know why. And then I'm just going to fast forward even more. And I may just do a quick cut uh, to the end results because it does look like, yeah, all the units moving over here. Yeah, they defeated these guys. It's just... They haven't routed for some reason. Um, and now everything's running over, basically. That was basically what happened next. These Eastman Axemen, uh, apparently, yeah, will defeat these uh, Royal Skulls. So they're going to fall back now, which is not what happened. In the battle, it actually just came into two a general and the Eastman Axemen who defended that choke point there. Jorvik was gone. Um, and it just was... Uh, Mercia and Northumbria to come over here, which they eventually come and do, and uh, defeat uh, what is left of Wessex. So, I will uh, quickly go to the end results for you guys, so I'll do a quick cut so you can see the end results, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the battle. So there we go, it was a close defeat for Wessex in the end, it was a, a real, real uh, hard fought one, and there you go, it looks like, uh, it looks like Radius Mod is not going to uh, show us the re end results, but it was a very close thing. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed if you did then please do remember to leave a like subscribe if you're new around here and leave a comment to show your support and until next time legionnaires